2019 elections matters arising. I mean, this issue, there are just different angles to it. And no matter how much you've already spoken about it, you just seem to have much more to say. Of course, the factions are very real. The ANEC budget is still on this time. The government, well, through the senior special assistant to the president on media and publicity, Garaba Shehu, has said that the Senate, you know, especially the leadership, should be blamed for the delay in the in uh, that INEC budget. This whole matter. And then earlier during the paper review, Gwala did say something about uh, the 2019 elections in relation to the by-election, which was uh, in, reverse in reverse stage. stage, you know. So putting all of this into consideration, how do we foresee the 2019 polls? Comparable to the last regime, the immediate this regime is not doing well with, call it body language, call it mouth language, call it microphone language, call it whatever language you want to, or the political weather. This regime is not giving us giving out a, a confident driven atmosphere could it be for based political activities to move without interference now could it be based on what the government has said about corruption fighting back corruption fighting back should be allowed to if at all corruption fights back let corruption fight back on its own you don't go and, and, and begin to uh, make corruption look as if you are manipulating corruption if you are manipulating corruption to fight back, then it, you don't allow a free system. I want to look at it from the perspective that the budget we are talking about, about the uh, uh, INEC budget, we were here, you know, analyzing the situation even before the Senate passed the, uh, uh, elect, uh, before the Senate passed the appropriation uh, bill into an act. And even before the president signed it, although he said he signed it grudgingly, we know also that there are public allegations against some ministries, departments, and agencies of government who never came to defend their budgets during the time it was at the National Assembly. I want to also let you know that that could have been a window when INEC on their own could get that done. If you are talking about budget violence concerning the uh, INEC uh, budget right now, or even you are talking about making it a proposal all the same, whichever way, it is an executive bill that ought to come from the presidency to the National Assembly. But you don't blame it on the National Assembly who are waiting for the arrival of those bills. Yours is, yours is to appropriate as a proposal and drop it before the Senate. And then the ask is to, you know, look into it and then work on it in conjunction with the Office of the Budget. And that office has a Director General. I don't know why making budgetary allocations and making this discussions on budget look like rocket science to us. And we continue recycling such errors as had been before, even up to now. Laying blames is not what we should be concerned ourselves with. Even the act itself which should have been passed a long time ago, but because of an aspect that has to do with reordering of the election, all oh, that we are passed into that, they had to throw away the bathwater with the baby. And now we found ourselves in a, in a fix. The question we need to ask the executive, do you actually want this election to hold? Or do you want to stampede Nigerians into an election where the decision would be very tough for them to make? So, well, uh, what concerns uh, the question of about the 2019 polls even if you've not read the nigerian constitution before if you've never read it before everybody in nigeria everybody in nigeria knows that the election cycle is for four years for four years and if the last one was 2015 the next one must be 2019 okay if anybody has never read the Nigerian Constitution, no. Now, if anybody has ever contested the election before, especially in a polity where the election cycle is for four years, mm -hmm. you just know that at least one year 
one right. one year before the date of election, the election management body in that polity, which is INEC in the case of Nigeria, yes, must have started preparations. All right, well, I, I really wanted to even hear more from him. Let him let, up let, him, question, let him let him listen. Else? And you know what, Nigerians, if you are watching this morning, I never come here to pretend that I'm a saint. But you know what? I lived in a country called England. That country, I have the privilege of going to that country again. And you know why I behave when I'm in England? I know the system so works that even if the law does not see me directly, other people who share the space with me and who want the well of their society, not so much because of society alone, but because they will also have an, a, a gain in it, they will help the law to fight me if I'm corrupt. So it is the tendency of human beings anywhere in the world. All these Oyimbo countries that these people go to and think things work. You think it's because Oyimbo people they are, they, they are saintly? No, is the is the entrenchment of rules. Um, but you know, I, I said we know our, our elections are for four years ago. We know if anybody has ever contested elections before in a, in a, in a polity where the elections are for four years cycles. And thank God, the incumbent president has contested for the office of the president four times. Four times. So he should know that on no occasion would he have started preparing to contest election less than a year before before the election. election yeah. Now, he knows that there will be some things that will happen within his party a year to the election. And when they presented the budget to the National Assembly in November last year, it never occurred to anybody in the executive arm of government that that proposition mm -hmm. for, uh, for the appropriation uh, INEC should be in that budget. To wrap it up yeah. again, because, you know, to wrap it up, they know, the executive knows that it has been the tradition from 1999 that the Nigerian parliament, the Nigerian National Assembly, we go for his long vacation from July to September. They did not submit the, this thing. They did not submit the, the proposed appropriation for the management of next year's election. They did not submit it in, up, up until June. They submitted it on the 12th of July. July. My sister, they are now blaming parliament for not quickly resuming, even when the two chambers of the National Assembly have made sure that their committees in charge of electoral matters are already sitting on the matter. You know what? And even in making the prop prop proposition to decide to use violent monies that have been awarded for constituency projects, you have decided to use that money as the money you want to appropriate for, I am telling you, the greatest antagonist of the proposition of the executive for the management of next year's election are the APC legislators. They are in the majority now. And you know what? They don't really want it to pass. And they don't want it to pass because of the violent element. But you know, the presidency has blamed the Senate president. Who now has left the, uh, the APC for the PDP? Because they said right from the beginning, he was working against the party, he and others. Oh, we'll, we'll get the, the blame game. You see, the National Assembly has even uh, been more proactive than the presidency who submitted that uh, uh, INEC budget. You know why? With the little time they had, they had to move it to executive stage. Then the committee, you know, discuss it even while we are on recess. It is a patriotic act. If the leadership of the Senate were to act in line or to corroborate the mindset of the president to frustrate election they would have withheld the letter and not read it but it was read in a plenary and then the discussion on that INEC project was sent to the appropriate committees to look at it government is a continuum it is not all the senators that are on on, on, on vacation right now there are activities going on we saw when the uh, they invited the uh, and and chairman to defend the budget. The committee stage is a parliamentary procedure that will give to you to the second reading by the time they reconvene for plenaries. So the I can't see I don't know. Probably somebody doesn't understand democracy. 
and probably somebody thinks that this is 1984 or 85. Probably somebody needs to be reschooled again. But having said that, let us look at the way and manner the, uh, the, the, the preparations are being uh, you know, gathered for the election. You know what? I was going to say that the procedure that has been laid out, that we've practiced and see recurrently happen, since 1999 is not strange to us which they even orchestrate by their own disobedience so i think there should be a national rebirth and there should be a national repentance and there should be a call for them to think twice before we go ahead into this election you know why nigerians should understand that by the way these politicians are acting you know that actions follow beliefs. There's something they believe. And that belief system is that we can manipulate things by then, being in power. Okay. Call it incumbency, call it whatever. Call it having the machineries of the police. There are people who have been arguing that there are just PDP, APC, but other members of APC are probably Nigerian Army, Nigerian police, and they're about. Level of development is so backward. And we lack capacity so much, Emmanuel, that we cannot let the even the extant laws run without the interference of those who are in government. But are there no efforts at all? Is it that there are no efforts or that these efforts when, are not good when enough? When people voted for you believing that you will do things right, we voted for Chenjo. What has changed dramatically from what prevails now? And what prevailed under what has changed dramatically in the in in the administrative structure of this country and in the ways that the extant laws that were abused then are still being abused now. Oh, have you ever seen any operational difference in how the ICPC or EFCC work now relative to under to how they worked under Jonathan? Or relative to how they worked on their ambassador, who set them up to be political attack dogs.